Now, while there are theories arguing for the irrelevance of dividends, as you can imagine academics, there's also a whole set of theories that argue that dividends are relevant, that dividends do matter, that you know, people that own stock, they do want earnings in the form of dividends. And again, these are some theories that argue to that now. Now, one of the more common ones is called the bird in the hand theory. Now, the bird in the hand theory says that shareholders would rather have a dividend, a cash dividend, that's certain today than some uncertain dividend, capital gain rather, uh, in the future. So they would rather have the dividend today in their hand than some promised potential maybe going to occur capital gain in the future. The other element of this is now it has to deal with discount, time value of money. The, that certain dividend today will have a much lower discount rate than that uncertain capital gain in the future. That's risky. You're going to have a much higher discount rate associated with a risky cash flow. And the argument here is that the present value of those capital gains turn out to be less than the present value of the dividends that you're receiving, the cash dividends. So the burden of hand theory says that because of that, that shareholders would prefer to have dividends, cash dividends, than have some promised potential capital gain out in the future somewhere. One's a risky cash flow, one's not so risky. There's also a theory that deals with informational content. Now, this has to do with management signaling the market. Sometimes this gets overlapped with what's called a signaling effect, a signaling theory. And this means that management is signaling to the market, giving information to the market pertaining to the, what they see as the future cash flow in the future. Now, the logic goes this way. Companies do not like to cut dividends. That's not what they tend to do. What that means is that if a company increases their dividend, then they see out in the future forever enough cash flow to pay that dividend. So by increasing dividends, they're signaling to the market, they're sending information to the market that they see uh, rising, increasing cash flows out in the future that are going to be great enough to pay the dividends, the increased dividends that they're talking about. Lots of times analysts look at the increase in dividends over time. They look at that as a kind of an indicator of what they think maybe the, uh, the growth rate of the cash flow in the company is uh, going forward. So this is called information content signaling theory. And this says that the market reacts to dividends. If you increase your dividends, the price of the stock tends to go up. If you decrease your dividends, the price of the stock tends to go down. That's signaling, that's information content. And that's a theory that a lot of people hang their hat on if they like dividends. Another theory here is called agency cost. Now, agency has to do with different groups within the company. You have management on one hand, and you have shareholders on the other hand. Management sometimes has their own objectives, has their own agenda, and that could be different than maximizing the value of the firm uh, uh, for the uh, shareholders. Paying dividends now, it's argued, is gives the shareholders some, some satisfaction, gives the shareholders uh, some uh, you know, belief that management's kind of looking out for their interests. And so, Agency theory, as far as dividends go, would tell you that it's important for management to pay dividends because that, that tells the shareholders that indeed management is working in their interest. If they cut dividends, eliminate dividends, never pay dividends, shareholders start worrying whether or not management's running the company for their own interest and not the, their interest. And remember, the shareholders are the owners of the company. So this agency theory kind of pits management against shareholders. And again, information going back and forth. And yes, that's a little bit of this informational content, the signaling theory, I think, uh, uh, going on here too. 
But these are three common types of uh, theories that you hear about that, that argue that dividends are relevant. Burden to hand theory, informational content, and agency cost. 